This is the calculator. It was originally designed by Walter Richard Bonham in 1905. In that year he filed two patents for it and he also set up a company with a business partner Bonham and Schramm to manufacture the machine. It was not very successful. Several years later in 1915 uh, it was tried again this time by the Calculator Corporation. It was first called the Calculator Sales Company, I think. And they were based in Grand Rapids. So they made an, the identical uh, machine. They bought the patent rights from Bonham. And uh, yeah, the main difference is that this one is painted black. The originals were plain blank metal. It also comes with a, a nice wooden desk stand, a triangular wedge-shaped stand, and it has a, a nice metal stylus. The machine has seven dials, uh, each dial representing one digit. The dials have holes in them. One of the holes is larger and shows you the current digits. So there's a zero here, zero, zero, four, zero, one, eight. It's quite difficult to make out these digits, especially because these are not all in one line. As the dial moves, the hole that shows the digit moves as well. To add something to this number, you put the stylus next to the digit you want to add. For example, I'll add 6 here. So you put the stylus next to this 6 and then rotate clockwise until you can't go any further, until you hit this stop. So now this digit shows a 4 and a carry has been performed automatically. This next dial to the left has been incremented from 1 to 2. So yeah, there's a carry mechanism between each pair of digits but that only works for addition. You cannot uh, turn the dials in the opposite direction for subtraction, the carry just doesn't work in that direction. To subtract you'd have to use uh, complementary digits and add those. Above and below the machine you see these, uh, the, these metal uh, plaques to show how you could use it. This one uh, shows you uh, essentially a dollar amount, two digits after a decimal point and then five digits before that. And below here you see that you could also use it as units, tens, hundreds, all the way up to millions. The desk stand also has a uh, a plug on this side in, and you can store the stylus in here so that you won't uh, lose it. This machine was in production from 1915 till about 1922 and then the company re renamed itself the Lightning Calculator Company and they made a new machine, the Lightning Calculator that had a similar carry mechanism but now the digits were shown in separate windows making it much easier to read. So this was the calculator. Thank you for watching.